Oranges and a pineapple under the sea. Square Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here to review the SpongeBob episode Buried in Time, requested by Riley Beaven and Pinhead1105. And I'm here with my guest star, One Young Swag 5. Hola, amigos. Yes, yeah, see, see. Buried in Time is about when Mr. Krabs decide to build this time capsule that they're not gonna take out until like 50 years from now. And then SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward somehow falling down the time capsule and get stuck inside it. So it looks like SpongeBob and Patrick and Squidward have to deal with being trapped inside a time capsule for the next 50 years unless they can decide a way to get out of the time capsule. While they are stuck inside the time capsule, they look what they think Bikini Bottom will be like 50 years from now. Like, what will it be like in the future? Meanwhile, of course, Plankton, he's doing his usual, trying to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. I gotta say, it was it was a pretty good episode, actually, to me, in my honest opinion. It was a pretty good episode. Yeah, I gotta agree with One Young Sweet Five. This is a very well-made episode. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the idea of Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward inside this time capsule. Spongebob and Patrick doing the usual annoy Squidward. There was a hilarious scene where they use shaving cream, and Squidward looks like Santa Claus with the beard. It was really funny. I also enjoyed Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward's point of view of what Bikini Bottom will be like 50 years from now. So all three of them, they have a funny interpretation of it. Well, Patrick's interpretation of it, it's actually right now. Plankton, as for that, that the plot really had to be in this episode, no, it didn't. But, I mean, I'll be honest, I enjoyed Plankton's episode, even if it was kind of pointless. He, It was really funny, especially with what happened at the end. He technically got a Krabby Patty formula. Technically, he did, but... Let's just say he has to, he's going to be stuck in the toilet for a long time. That's the best way to put what happened at the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the episode went into a very weird turn. I honestly did not expect to see that. And it was one of the closest times Plankton actually had the formula. It was really nice to see how everyone became bought as putting their on prize possession inside the time capsule. It was a really interesting episode. It had some funny moments. It was very well written. It was actually very original in my opinion and a really interesting take on what the future could be like. That's what really got me into this episode. My only flaw with this episode is that it is a little slow. It does take a while for SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward to be inside the time capsule because they don't go inside the time capsule until the second half of the episode. I understand you need your build-up, but I honestly wish they were in the time capsule a little bit more sooner. That way we could have had more time with the time capsule. And even if the first half is a little bit slow in terms of getting to the point, it's still really enjoyable. So I'm going to give Buried in Time a 9 out of 10. I really like this episode. I have no flaws with this episode. And also I agree with 22 Target Dude. You gotta be. You're not gonna know what this future look like until you live it. I really did enjoy all three of them in one time. Council really brings the good friendship, if you could just say that. Even though they kind of annoyed Squidward. <laughs> yeah, but even though Squidward's gonna be there for a while, so might as well get used to it. That was funny. How Squidward was disappointed. How it's not 50 years later. Always all like, get me when it's 50 years from now. And he goes back in the time capsule. Oh, yeah. I actually did laugh in this episode. Mr. Crab was really funny in this episode, too. Damn. Can't believe Plankton's going to be in the toilet for a while, but. <laughs> make sure. Oh, it's good. It's good. Make sure. It's good. Make sure uh, you guys don't drop no dingalos in there. <laughs> Karen. I think I'm going to need more prunes. So anyway, I give this, I really did enjoy it, you know. I give this episode a 10 out of 10. Please check out One Young Sleep Five's channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Instagram. And find me on Facebook.
One Young Swag 5 is signing off. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.